welcome back to my channel. So it is Sunday today and I've come to Morrison's because I think I've got a voucher in my bag um, for some money off. No, right, let's get back to the, to the task in hand. Right, we've come to Morrison's, I've got a voucher, um, I think £7 off, about thereabouts, five or seven pounds off. Um, but I like to mix it up anyway to go to different stores for you. And sorry about that, my phone cut out, I had to delete a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the food shopping and see um, if I can get it for under £100. Basically, that is the budget that I'm working with at the moment. And I need to buy some more snacks this week because the boys are eating more recently. Um, I think they're either having growth spurts or it's just their age and they're gonna continually from now on just eat me out of house and home. So um, yeah, but this is a desperately need food shop because normally I do it on a Saturday and I couldn't go yesterday because we were out and about and there's like no food at home until there's nothing. Um, we have emptied the covers in the fridge virtually. So I really need to go and stock everything up. Um, if you're new around here, I would love it if you would click the subscribe button if you enjoy the video and hit the like button if you like it. And the boys are here. The boys aren't here, no. Yeah. It's just me and you, oh, yeah. early time. Um, what's up? <laughs> early time for shopping. And actually, I did kind of think, oh brilliant, I'm taking Lily with me. I can park in a mother and child space. But no, they're all taken, so we had to park in a regular car, car, car park space. Anyway, if I can get my words out. Right, should we go to the shopping, Lil? Yeah. yeah. Good girl, well done. Right, mind the cars. I'll take it in the car park because it's, it's busy. I don't want you to get run over. Right, we'll grab some... We'll pop those in there, Jane. And then we need a cucumber. Where do they hide the cucumbers? We also need peppers, so let's get some peppers. Six tomatoes. Six tomatoes. That's a big jump, isn't it? Just for one pepper. But you need cucumbers. I don't know. Celery. Oh, there are the cucumbers. Here, you want to put the cucumber in for mummy? Thank you, darling. You are being very good. Well done for being so good. Uh, do we need some broccoli? I might buy some frozen broccoli actually. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Six, six pints of milk today. It's a bit heavy for you to put in there. 15 pounds. I think I got quite a lot for it. But oh, bloody hell, I even got seven pounds off. So I guess it would have been, well, I can't do the mask quite as in my head right now. Okay, so I'm back. Um, this is, everything i got some of it's already been opened because i'm not even joking our like, fridge and cupboards bare so i'll show you the fridge this is what we're starting with the fridge is minimal minimal food in here not much at all um the kids cupboard not much in there either nothing in the tin there is no cereal left down here no cereal a couple of slices of bread there's nothing um and then in here it's not an awful lot it's like some tin stuff but yes yeah, so i need to do quite a big shop it's 117 pounds and i had seven pounds off i think i got quite a lot and i did like get extra i got extra snacks and things from the boys because they like i said they are super hungry right now um so i'm going to quickly go for my meal plan with you and then do the frozen stuff you're right charlie you oh, okay you can swap all right i'll call you once i've done it yeah okay so dinners for this week i'm doing uh, a few of my simply cook meals that I got coming so I, I spend £11.79 a month and I get two boxes a month which is eight meals and I, then you have to buy the ingredients they send you the spice blend kits and in, um, instructions and then like they're easy enough things to buy to rebuy if you want to remake them so um I tonight we've got Baja fish tacos I'm gonna do that with potato wedges and corn on the cob um and then another night we've got chicken katsu curry um with steamed carrots um, another night we've got Cuban mojo pasta. Um, I'm gonna do that with some like chicken goujons and garlic bread because I don't know how much the, of the pasta the kids will actually eat. Um, another night I'm doing a chicken tagine with homemade flatbreads, uh, sausage meatball pasta. So those four things are the Simply Cook meals. And I'm gonna do sausage meatball pasta, which I've already got sausages in the freezer. Um, and then another night I'm gonna do a separate dinner from the children because Tuesday we're going to soft play with a friend after school and I'm not going to get back till late. So they're just gonna have pizza that evening and we're gonna have a feta salad. And we've got the feta in the fridge already. The only thing I'm gonna need to buy, oh damn, I should have bought that today. because I, I thought I was gonna have it on Friday. I'm gonna have to pick up a lettuce because I don't wanna pick up a lettuce now and then not use it until Friday. Um, but yeah, I'll just pick up a lettuce. And I'm gonna to have to buy more bread and milk in the week. Um, and then, 
that's it really and then the next Saturday we're actually out with my cousin um, and her family so we'll be eating out that day so let's crack on I will show you what I've got I bought some ginger ale and it's just like a cheapy ATP bottle one it's actually really nice Mm. I like it. I had a fever tree one at my mum's yesterday, which was a spiced ginger ale. And it was so, so nice. It was so good. More expensive than the one I bought. My mum has more money than I do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with the frozen stuff because I need to get that in the freezer. So I bought mini corn on the cobs for dinner tonight. I think there's five in here. Um, and they're £1.45, I think. And I bought some. British sliced carrots, which need to go. Oh, I'm a bit soft, so I need to get those in the fridge. I think they're about one pound forty, and Zach likes those, and it's just easier to do it that way than me having to slice and steam them. Um, so for the chicken katsu curry, I've got these. Um, I couldn't find any breadcrumb ones that weren't flavoured, and the prices in Morrison's are crazy. Like they are, some of it sounds fun, but it's really good. Other things, I just can't believe the price of. Um, these were £2, which I thought was good, but they're in batter. But like I said, all the breadcrumb run ones um, were flavoured. I need a non-flavoured one, I think, for the katsu curry. So, and Lily will just have chicken nuggets with hers, to be honest, because I don't think she'll eat these. Um, I bought two packs of the Savers Fish Fingers, and these are for the Baja Tacos that I'm doing this evening, because it says you can either use fish fillets or breaded fish fillets or fish fingers. So I went with the more cost-effective option, because it's still fish, it's still good for you. Um, I got these 18 breaded chicken nuggets for Lily. They were £1.10 each. These are 80p each. Um, and I got two packs, because these are dairy-free, and Ariana can eat them when she comes to my house as well. So I've got two packs because one pack between two kids is probably not going to last that long. Although I have not using them that much this week. Um, and is that everything for Frozen? I think that's everything I bought Frozen wise. I'll carry on. I'll start at the non food um, end. So I picked up some toilet cleaner for us at home. So that was 70p. Um, I got some Colgate white teeth, which was a pound and i got some infant and children's ibuprofen which i think was two pound ten um baby wipes because you always need baby wipes even when you haven't got any babies they were 65p um 20 panty liners they were 90p and then these ones of 30 were 99p so i, I put these in my handbag these because they're in a little like they're folded up and in a in a little wrapper that's what i'm looking for that's the word i'm looking for um there we go and then we don't need any dishwasher tablets but these are only one pound 99 and i find they work fine for my dishwasher so i just picked up some of those what i did need was dishwasher salt and i haven't got any of that because they had none in morrison's so that's something i'm going to need to get i might ask gary to pick it up from Lidl in the week because i like the fact that Lidl's ones comes in a cardboard box rather than plastic um so I got this oh so soft toilet paper and oh my goodness, toilet paper is expensive in Morrison's, but this was £6.79 and it's 18, 18 rolls because it's nine double rolls. So that seemed to be the most cost effective way of doing it. Um, and then I got 45p for Morrison's Essentials mouthwash and 85p for some bathroom cleaner. Um, what, I think that's everything that wasn't like non-food items. So I bought extra snacks, like I said, for the kids this week. Um, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but I've got a slice of bread up here because I've got none at home. I like to buy the Marks and Spencer's bread. So we've got like a garage near us that has a Marks and Spencer's shop. So I will go there and pick up like three loaves of bread and then shove them in my freezer in the shed. Um, but I just needed something. So I've got that, that was 75p. I picked up a lemon squash because Zaki said he wanted to have lemon squash and that was 95p, I think. It was either 85 or 95p. And the same with the apple and blackcurrant because Charlie likes that one. This low calorie ginger ale i thought i'd try um and it was 80p and it's nice i'll buy that again um 85p for sim savers apple juice and 95p for the savers orange juice and i bought two of those i got some coffee which was two pound something i can't remember it was either 230 or 260 um and i got the decaf one for me gareth's decaf as well but he prefers this one so until i go back to aldi i'll just give that one to him and i am more than happy to have that one um because i have milk and sugar in my in my coffee and he doesn't so he needs like a slightly nicer one um 
or is it just doesn't matter for me so much and then i bought two packs of these chocolate chip cookies for the children to be honest i'll probably have some too because i love chocolate chip cookies um i can't remember how much they were but they were really cheap like 45p or something like that and um, they had wagon wheels on offer and i think wagon wheels are there's no there's nothing nasty in here no artificial flavorings colors preservatives and there's no gm ingredients um no hydrogenated fats so as far as a treat goes i'm fairly happy to give them to those and they're quite decent so like they're a decent size treat so they're going to feel like they've eaten something and they were a pound each and they're on offer so i've got two packs of those to put in the treat tin using everything over here um i think these were a pound hobnobs zach loves them and although like obviously they've got sugar and stuff in them oats are good for you and that's the only way i can get him to eat oats is in a flapjack form um and i also got zach i mean charlie doesn't like them charlie doesn't like jelly either i'm not favoring zach um I got Zach's Robbie jelly for packed lunches or snack after school. They're one pound twenty-five, and he loves them. Um, Charlie likes jam tarts. These were ninety-nine p, and yeah, he just loves jam tarts basically. So, and I'll have one or two of those as well, I expect. I got some savers sultanas for the tagine that I'm doing, um, and then they're just always good if I make like sultana bread or anything like that, and um, fruit bread. Um, I can't remember how much they were. I think they were 99p. I think I could be wrong. Um, tomato passata because I'm doing the um, meatball, bol no, the sausage meatball bolognese thing. Sausage meatball pasta, whatever we call it. But that was 60p. I have got one in the cupboard, but I thought I'd like replace one so that I'm not completely out. Um, salted peanuts because I love them. I couldn't find them and then I found them. I was going to go without, but they're only 54p. So I picked them up for myself. Um, and then again, Milk chocolate breaks. There's eight of here, these in here. I don't think Lily likes wagon wheels, but she does love these, and they're one pound twenty-five. Um, and again, just the ingredients aren't too bad. Yeah, they're not too bad, so I don't mind having those as a treat. Um, cheese strings, two pounds. They're on offer, so that was that was a pleasant surprise. Um, this was three pound forty-nine, I think, for the Savers mild cheddar, and I got the big one because it just. The other one is just too small, it doesn't last us a week, and my kids love cheese sandwiches. Zach loves a cheese sandwich, um, and Lily loves ham and cheese sandwiches. And I got chicken flavour noodles for Zach, and mild curry flavour noodles, they're 55p each. And where he is just more hungry, because I guess he's growing, he's nearly 11, bless him, um, I thought if he's really hungry after school, that would make a brilliant like filler between um, coming home from school and dinner. And again, ingredients in there, you know, not too bad, but actually they're all right. Yeah, they're not too bad, actually. They're okay, I'm happy with those. Um, Savers baked beans. These ones were 28p, the next one up were 50. And the only difference is these have got some glucose fructose syrup in. And when, I don't know, we're not having that many baked beans this week. I just couldn't justify the jump, basically, in price. It's quite a lot. Um, pineapple, these were 55p each. They are in light syrup, but Zach doesn't eat the syrup, so... Um, or drink the syrup. So I've got two tins of those. pound fifteen, I think, for the Savers Hazelnut Chocolate Spread. And that is for use at home. And then Charlie, because he doesn't like jam sandwiches, when I run out of sandwich meat, he doesn't like cheese or jam, whereas the other two would well, likely likes cheese and Zach likes jam and cheese. But he said, can you find me some nut-free chocolate spread? So I said, yes. Now, this one was more expensive. They had a brand called Jim Jams, which was 2 dollars um, but it had malitol in it. Charlie's got quite a sensitive tummy, and if he has those like sh like sugar-free sweets and things, he's on the toilet, so bless him. Um, and that is like that brand of chocolate spread. It does have a warning on saying excessive consumption can get, have a laxative effect. I didn't want to run that risk with him, even though it's only going to have a little bit in his sandwiches. So I just thought I'd get the Cadbury one anyway, and that was 3 dollars I didn't want to buy it, but he's not going to eat it at home. It'll only be used, like, when we run out of the other stuff for his sandwiches. Um, sour cream, I, th oh, I don't know how much that was. Maybe a pound? I'm not sure. Maybe a pound. And that's for dinner tonight. And then double cream for one of the recipes. I think it's the Cuban mojo pasta. Did call for single cream, but I couldn't get a small thing of single cream. So there we go. And that was a pound. Um, two mini packs of tortillas for the dinner tonight. They were 85p each. I honestly can't remember how much these were, but they were really cheap. Lily and Charlie like sucking on lemons, so they've asked me to get them, and I have. So get them a bit of extra vitamin C, they can crack on. Um, I nearly had a heart attack. £3.99 for sauce. I'd, I'm more than happy to have the cheaper barbecue sauce, but Gareth really likes this one. So like, he's the only one that eats this, really. 
but four quid my goodness i remember when it was like 285 um i bought two things of the savers oh gosh that's open savers ketchup 56p i think my kids are absolutely fine with it so one for the cupboard one well two for the cupboard and we get through a lot of ketchup basically because these kids love ketchup um one pound 49 for fruit winders strawberry blackcurrant for snacks and lunch boxes i bought these these were on offer um i'm gonna have some of these because i love these so fruit bear splits i bought the strawberry and apple ones this time charlie will like these ones he doesn't like the raspberry and pineapple ones but zach does but i just thought we'd get these ones this time they were two pound each i got lily some wildlife tubes because the boys don't like yogurt and they're all strawberry flavor and they're one pound 20 and she always finds it a bit of novelty when i get like fruits or tubes or something for her because they're not in a pot um zach and lily love these Belvita breakfast biscuits and they're one pound 25 um i think these are like 86p or something for savers chocolate mousses lily loves those for puddings and the boys like them as well 37p for um that's broken never mind um savers garlic baguette i'll freeze those and you know charlie is the garlic bread consumer in the house largely um and then i've got some fresh stuff here celery for the meatball pasta and gareth will take this to work as well because he just eats celery two pounds for british apples they are crimson crisp and they look really nice and i don't mind buying more expensive apples if they're nice because the cheap ones the kids don't eat them and they just don't taste as nice um salad tomatoes i don't know how much they were they were probably around 80p one pound 75 for peppers um one pound 55 each which is steep steep much much more expensive than in um aldi but brioche rolls chocolate chip and regular because the two younger ones like this these ones but all three of them will eat those ones um two pizzas at 89p each i'll put extra cheese on them and maybe some ham if they want it for dinner on tuesday you okay charlie you want your chocolate don't you okay hold on sweetheart um right i promise i'd buy the kids some chocolate so i've got milk chocolate and white chocolate and charlie has agreed to swap with lily so there you go do you want to give that to zaki that's his one don't eat it all in one go please okay right um these are 45p so they're actually really nice i also bought gareth a dairy milk caramel one because he wanted caramel one that was one pound fifty there was no way i was buying four things at one pound fifty it's ridiculous and this is really nice chocolate because lily let me have a bit of hers now the reason why she's got an extra one is because she was crying last night because apparently we ate some of her christmas chocolate um and the only way to make her happy was to buy her an extra one so there we are she can't complain now because she's got she's been reimbursed in some chocolate that we ate um 89p for a cucumber and then again snacky things pepper army chicken uh, i was more than happy with the ingredients in these they were one pound 75 hopefully the boys will both like those and then fridge raiders two pounds for five packs and i don't mind the ingredients in these either um so for zilla, zilla i always get gareth and zach's names mixed up um sweet and smoky chicken breast pieces for gareth's sandwiches and zach because he likes those i think i don't know if charlie isn't so keen i don't think on the chicken pieces lily what do you want um sorry lily came in asking for some chocolate that child um chocolate obsessed today so these were one pound 99 we've had these before and they're really nice and then i got i think this is one pound something savers wafer thin cooked ham it looks it looks nice and I, the ingredients on it just look standard for ham really ham's never going to be great for you is it um and that's for lily for her sandwiches and the boys but i picked up this um these ham trimmings which look good and again the ingredients on here are just ham ingredients these were £2.99 but I don't think Lily will eat these in a sandwich whereas she will eat those like she, you know everyone if you've been around here for a while you know how fussy in particular she is so there we go so we've got plenty of sandwich meat anyway and then Lily's got some of these left in the cupboard here but if she has like one with her lunch and one with her dinner that's not the last all week so i just picked up another one of these and they were two pounds um eggs i think these were two pound 35 got 12 of them because charlie and zach both like eggs for breakfast charlie does not like egg yolk he likes egg whites zach eats the whole of the egg so that's got 12 of those um one pound 29 for savers blueberries for me and gareth because the kids won't eat them 
tried them and eat them. And then grapes. It's like still not on grapes, but I might see if he wants some of these. But me and Gareth have got some grapes. I can't remember how much they were. £1.59, I think. Um, this is for Gareth. Um, this was £2.60, which is crazy. So the kids are not allowed to drink this because they make their squash too strong, in my opinion. And this is expensive, £2.60. But I've got him some lime juice cordial because he likes it with sparkling water. Um, £4.50 for chicken thigh fillets for one of the dinners, but I can't remember which. Oh, the chicken tagine. And then we've got no cereal left in the house. So chocolate hoops. These were one pound something. I can't remember exactly how much, but they were cheaper than the Weetos and they are made with wholemeal wheat. So I'm guessing they're going to be similar to Weetos and Zaki will still like them, I hope. Um, picked up some more of these chocolate hazelnut pillows for Lily. They're one pound fifteen. And then Gareth opened these ready to have a bowl because there's literally no food in the house. Um, these are for Charlie and Gareth. Gareth can have some of these as well. Um, but Charlie likes choco crackles. And then I bought some fruit and fibre, which Gareth can have as well. But I don't know if he likes coconut in there or not. But I've liked this last week and it's really really good. So I bought some of that. And that was one pound forty five, and it's quite a big box. And then the last thing we got is crisps um because our crisps are running low so i bought some ready salted ones for zach they're one pound ten for the morrison's ones and i would have bought the um he asked for these different crisps that i couldn't find in morrison's so i figured i'd better get him a different flavor crisps so he doesn't get bored so i picked up these roast chicken ones which are two pound twenty on their own but on offer it was um three pound thirty i think or three pounds something for two walkers um and it made more sense to buy the two walkers with one prong cocktail for lily and charlie than buying it worked out cheaper to do it that way than buying that on its own and then the morrison's version of those of, of these ones so if that makes sense so i've got plenty of crisps for everybody so yeah 117 pounds um taking off the seven pound of my vouchers i'm really glad i had the voucher at first i thought she said 170 and i nearly had a heart attack honestly <laughs> I thought I have not moved enough money over for that today. But yeah, so that is all my shopping. I think I've done quite well considering I bought quite a lot of snacky bits for the kids. Um, I did get some meat and I did get some householdy bits um, and obviously some frozen meat and things. So yeah, I think I did all right. So, I mean, I had someone comment the other week that there wasn't a lot of fresh fresh produce for a family of five, um, which I don't care. It's none of your business. It's my bloody shopping. When you're paying for it, you can comment on what I buy. Um, yeah. That's it. That's my shop for the week. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's cheaper next week. I think I'm going to go to Aldi next week because um, I can't keep going to... I mean, I like Morrison's, but it is more expensive. I only went there because I had the voucher and I knew it was going to be a bit more expensive, but I thought, you know what, if I got £7 off, might not make it too bad. But yeah, I'm, I still went over budget. But there we go. So I will see you all in the next one. I hope you have a lovely day, week or weekend, whatever day you're watching this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you're all doing really well. Take care. Bye.